Hey YouTube, Banana Pancake here. Just making up a follow-up video on that gas tank um, that I told you that I would get around to doing. So let's do it. Anyway, there's two particular paint, uh, excuse me, tanks for two individual bikes. That's this one right here. We, this is the one I call the Bull. This is the 750 Spirit. Okay, and this one right here is the 600 VLX. Okay, two different takes for two different bikes. Okay, that work better for each individual bike. So, but I'll get to this. If you have a 600 Shadow, go check this video out on the tank. But for right now, we're gonna do the 750. So, pretty bare bones, easy setup, guys. Um, like I said, this video is for the 750 Spirit. This is an 07. Uh, a lot of the years are pretty much the same. Now, as far as the Ace goes, the American Classic Edition, and some of those other bikes from Honda, don't take my word for it, this tank I don't know if it'll work for it or not. So you're just gonna have to take what you see here and see if it'll work. See if you got some similarities in the frame and whatever, okay? So anyway, let's get to this, let's get going on this and uh, just kinda wanna show you. Um, this particular tank right here in the description below, like I said, I'll leave the link, um, is not made for this bike. <laughs> it's made for more of a Harley with a tube or like an XS650. You know something that's kind of been rewelded and stuff these bikes like i said have a giant square tube and if you get down here you know get the angle you can see this ugly dip in the frame right up to the head tube right here it's as ugly as my finger okay so anyway it has this nasty dip in it and uh trying to get away from that you know we were thinking about it so we we took this tank and we basically just followed the angle of the frame and just let it follow it don't try to tilt it anymore this way because it'll just look really stupid, okay? So real basic, guys, okay? So I'm going to show you real quick. Right in here, you're going to see this is the old rubber gasket. This is the old placeholder for the old stock tank, okay? When you take your stock tank off, you're going to see that. Now through it, there's a hole right here. You're going to have to finish drilling through, and I think it's a quarter. I could be wrong, but just check it out, okay? And this is a dowel. You can get this uh, at like any hardware store, okay? And so you're gonna drill through the entire frame. Now, do I recommend drilling through the frame? Not really, but since this is such a small hole, I wouldn't worry too much about it, okay? So anyway, we fabbed up these pieces of steel right here, okay, simple. If you guys like skulls or death metal or whatever, you can you fab up something else with that. But we just did something real simple right here. Okay, so we basically, pretty self-explanatory. If you got any mechanical experience at all, you can just see it's just basically we put a big old flat washer on this side to kind of stabilize that rubber okay and uh, uh put the steel on lock washer and then a, the t-nut on this side it's a nylon wash, uh, lock nut anyway um don't don't my rule is don't ever try to fight the bike you know try to find things that'll just naturally work you know there was already a hole there so you just get a little bit creative you know what i mean and, and just uh you just figure it out so anyway you can see the tank nice thing about the design too is you can always take the tank and you can move it forward move it a little bit back depending on how far forward you like the tank okay now up here same similar thing like i was saying the the tank is made for a saddle you can see the two little uh, saddle points right here you know but basically we just took a i think it's a 3 8 dowel he he put it through here and he took some copper tubing and just laid it over the top of the dowel as he threaded it through if that makes sense with lock washers and uh, some nylon uh, nuts right there so pretty easy idea it's nothing really to it um, it does kind of look weird if you get at that angle you know but most people vantage point is up here and you know what if you're not really expecting it that's what it looks like and so I think it looks great a lot of people might disagree but anyway the rear of the tank now this is a I don't know why he has this rag here. It might be for a leak or something. Anyway, um, you can see the idea for the saddle, not built for a square tube, okay? Um, they have saddle points underneath this particular tank. If you've ever seen one of these tanks, you're gonna notice uh, two little saddles that come down like this with another hole in them, okay? Guys, all you gotta do is take those saddle points right here and just bend them out like that on both sides. So the tank sits flush against the frame, okay? And you can kind of see there's a gap. Well, you can see it, well, there you go. You can kind of see that there's a gap. You can't really see where we 
we pounded these out per se but they're basically just sitting flat down like that and the tank sits on the frame okay and then as far as attaching it guys don't make it complicated just zip tie it and i mean be be aware of your safety yeah but you want to know what we've had this tank has been on here since day one and uh it's never come off never had a problem and i'm i mean i'm shaking that pretty good you know it's never moved so just don't complicate it <laughs> you know simple fast easy you know nobody wants to pay a lot of money to get things done i get it i'm that type of guy too so just uh if you want to follow this process you know uh like the video share it definitely share it with other guys who got 750s man let's get some nice looking 750s out on the road um don't worry about subscribing i'm not trying to get rich off of this so uh, i just want to share this information and uh i mean come on guys look at this look at the angle right there you know look how sleek that is nobody really likes i have 12 friends and none of them and people who didn't even ride bikes none of them like that big tank that just comes sticking out like that so just do the right thing even if it's not this tank get yourself a small tank get it on there get the nice sleek design that you're looking for you know get a lot of compliments on this particular bike anyway thanks for watching guys i really hope this helped you out and hopefully you will be riding with a new tank here shortly thanks